In this video series, I'll be showing you my collection of physical Diablo games. From the first Diablo to the latest, being Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls. Now, let's start with the first Diablo, and here it is. Okay, yes, I realize this is not the original big box game, uh, which I would have uh, preferred owning, but alas, this is the box that I have. Right. So let's take a look at the box itself. Um, the Diablo release is part of the best seller release, uh, series, as you can see up there. Um, the box itself is really basic. I guess nothing too fancy about the look of it. Um, interestingly, the system requirements that's printed on the bottom, as you see there, also shows uh, for Mac computers. Um, hopefully you can see that. There it is. Power Macintosh, uh, actually. Now, if we open it up, uh, the inside looks very, very basic, as you can see here. Uh, you only get two things, apparently. You get a game CD and a, um, a well, can you call this a booklet? It's basically a, um, yeah, just a get, how to get started on a PC and a Mac. So a very simple booklet, if you can even call it that. Um, the CD itself, uh, it's, it's in a black paper sleeve. And it does say it's for both Windows 95 and Power Macintosh. And yeah, there we have it, guys. My copy of Diablo for PC. Now, before we move on to the next video, um, I have to mention that unfortunately I do not own a copy of Diablo Hellfire. Nor have I ever played it. Anyway, let's move on to the second installment of Diablo. Diablo 2 and Diablo 2 Lord of Destruction. Okay, let's start with Diablo 2 first. Now I spent several years playing this game both offline and online. It was one of the best times I've ever had playing any game. Uh, now obviously this was not the original copy of the game that I spent years playing with. Um, same with Diablo. Now if you must know I played Diablo 2 using my friend's copy. Um, for some reason he didn't like the game that much. I uh, don't know why. So I ended up playing it and I gave it back, I gave back the game after I finally finished it, I, I don't know after how long. I basically wanted to move on to other games. Right now I can't remember when I got this copy but I had to get it at some stage uh, because I, I love the game. I even bought Diablo 2 Resurrected but obviously I got the digital version. Now back to the box, right, so overall it's still in pretty decent condition, uh, good condition I would say. Um, you know, edges are a bit frayed, worn out, it's, it's right. Uh, we have the iconic Dark Wanderer shown on the cover. Uh, it's also uh, embossed along with the Diablo 2 logo, which gives it a premium look to the overall box. Um, I also like the runes that's on the edges, um, uh, on the outer rim of the box here. Now, obviously we have the flap at the front. Now if I open it up, uh, it showcases the um, uh, basically the, an in-game screenshot. Uh, also shows the five character classes. We've got here the Amazon, uh, the Necromancer, Paladin, the Sorcerer, Sorceress, sorry, and Barbarian. And also uh, what looks to me like a condensed map of Loot Galane. It's, I say this because the palace was um, nowhere near the edge of the map uh, or, the, um, or the entrance exit to the greater map. So it's, um, yeah, I guess it's from the early build or something. I'm not sure. Anyway. Uh, the back of it shows a screenshot from the game, as you can see, and as usual, the bottom shows the system requirements for both PC and Mac. Now, let's open the box and see what's inside. Right, when we open it up, we get a few things. Okay, so the first thing you get, just starting from the bottom, is uh, infor important information for Battle.net users, as you can see there, uh, technical support, you know, all that jazz. Um, now, the CDs, let's start with the CDs, shall we? So, we get three CDs, right? You've got the cinematic disc, there. You've got the install disc, right there. And you've also got the play disc, which is there, okay? Now, the we get a few things, obviously, in here. You also get a Blizzard product catalog uh, right there. I'm pretty sure that's from StarCraft. I don't know. I never, I never played StarCraft to be honest with you. Um, from, yeah, StarCraft Ghost. There we go. Uh, you got there World of Warcraft, uh, Warcraft Battle Chest, uh, Warcraft 3, Reign of Chaos, Frozen Throne, uh, Diablo Battle Chest, uh, StarCraft Battle Chest, 
Diablo 2, Diablo 2 expansion set, and uh, action figures uh, from the Warcraft, Warcraft world. Uh, Starcraft, uh, Sunwell Trilogy manga, never read that, Blizzard books, uh, Blizzard novels, merchandise, and finally role playing game. And oh wow, Z, Z boards, that's something I haven't seen in a long time. I still want one of these, but um, yeah, didn't have the money then. Anyway, that is the product catalog. Now, taking a look at the booklet itself, um, and you know, what a booklet. Check out the thickness on this bad boy. Look at that. That's a good, what, six, seven mils of that? Now, look at this. This is, again, it's a really good uh, read, right? We've got here tutorials, um, obviously uh, controlling your characters, you know, quest log, vendor screen, multiplayer, uh, on other multiplayer options, gameplay. There it is, the Amazon lore, Barbarian, uh, Necros, Paladin, Sorcerer, skills and abilities. And you've got all the skills. Look at that, all of the skills. And I'm pretty sure this is for Ea, every single character in here. Look at that. And then you've got durability, you know, weapons, uh, daggers, the different types of weapons as you can see there. Uh, potions, uh, tomes, I'm pretty sure there's a bit of, uh, there it is, armors, and all sorts, and, and obviously the lore of of Diablo itself, World Sanctuary, and look at that, right? So that is the Diablo 2 booklet. Now, moving on to the Lord of Destruction, okay, starting with the box. Now, I have to say, it's not as premium looking as the Diablo 2 box with all the embossing on the cover. There is no embossing on this one. I don't know if you can see that, but there's no embossing. Um, however, the box still has the um, you know the, the runes on the on the outer rim of the box, which is which is nice. Uh, now, obviously, as you can see, there is a little I wouldn't say little. There's quite a bit of imperfection on the cover, and I'm pretty sure this is when I tried to remove the price sticker. Uh, and obviously, you know, the, as usual with all these boxes, uh, the edges are, are are a bit worn. Right, uh, but again, it's it's in decent shape. Right, there's the back there, and uh, obviously the, the bottom shows you the uh, system wrecks for both uh, PC and Macintosh. Now, if we open up the flap, there we go. The cover, uh, the the flap here shows the new oops, two new characters. You've got the druid and the assassin, and uh, I have no idea where that is. I'm pretty sure that is Harrogath. Yes, pretty sure that's Harrogath. Um, and obviously the cover shows, you know, uh, Bale, uh, the, well, if you haven't already played it, it's, he's the, the, the end boss of this, of this game. Uh, but anyway, let's uh, open it up and see what you get inside. Now, we also get, as you can see here, uh, similar to the first, uh, to the Diablo 2, you get a, um, inf uh, important information for Battle.net users. And you also get the Blizzard product catalog, which contains exactly the same thing as um, as the other one, right? You also get obviously the this DVD or CD, sorry, for Diablo 2 expansion set, and it is still in perfect condition, as you can see there, right? Version 1.07. Um, there it is. There's the CD, and you also get a quite uh, reasonably thick. Ex uh, booklet right there, okay, and again same thing. You know you've got the um, uh, the forward there. You've got uh, getting started in PC. You've got uh, more lore, more. Uh, well, this is for uh, yeah, Berserker process the enemies. Uh, you've got here um, you know more lores, in-game lore, assassin skills. Uh, you've got the druid skills. Uh, there it is page on the druid um, and yeah, and all sorts. Good read, another another good read. Now, obviously, again, um, as far as I remember, um, you can pretty much get the the big box when this first came out. I, I, I can't remember, but unfortunately, I I didn't. So, you know, I I got the next best thing, which is uh, these two here in the in the, in the regular size boxes. But anyway, there we have it. It's my copies of both Diablo 2 and Diablo 2: Lord of Destruction for PC. The second to last physical game in my Diablo collection is Diablo 3 Collector's Edition for PC. Look at this bad boy. Uh, now, <laughs> it comes in this nicely done box. I mean, look at this, it's, it's nice and thick. 
Um, I think, you know, out of all of the collector's edition boxes in, in my collection, this has got to be one of the best made out there. Okay, uh, I'll show you why. So look at this, the logo is embossed. Um, hopefully you can see that. Uh, there we go. Logo is embossed, right? All of these artwork um, is also embossed, right? And if we take the side, the, even the logo on the side is embossed. Look at that. On both sides, actually. There it is. They're all embossed. It's, it's a very nice touch indeed. All right. Now on the back, um, there's really nothing in there besides. I don't know if you can see this. These uh, there's these two um, markings there. Um, those are little, uh, I guess, double-sided tape. Um, and it's used to put in to, to to stick the the little card that sits inside. And I'll show you uh, later on. So essentially, the card just shows you what's inside this collector's edition box, right? But anyway, <clears throat> but yeah, look. At, I mean, look at it again. Look at that box. It's it's beautiful. Right, it's very, very nice indeed. Okay, let's open it up and see what's inside. When we open this up, the first thing that greets you is uh, is the embossed image of a Diablo skull in the front there, right, as you can see there. And if we keep opening up, there it is. That is what's inside. And again, like I said, look at that. That is that is beautifully done. This is this is beautiful. I cannot I cannot stress that enough. Right, it's very nicely done indeed. Okay, and the back, there's really nothing, but you know, it's 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 uh, it's it's nice. It's nice. It's just nice. That's all I can say. All right. Uh, okay. First things first. I'm gonna show you. Uh, I'll start actually with the card in the, on the back. So I'm gonna pull this up. There we go. And there we are. So like I mentioned before, uh, this card is stuck to the back of the box. So you know, um, you know, so that you know what you get. All right, uh, gives you an idea of what's included uh, in here. So you get the Art of Diablo 3, um, you get the behind the scenes Blu-ray 2 disc set, collector's edition soundtrack. Uh, let me um, take that closer. Um, exclusive in-game content, obviously the um, Diablo 3 PC and Mac game. And look at this baby here, the Diablo skull and four gigabyte USB soulstone. I'll, I'll get to that at the end, you just wait, All right? But there it is, there's a card there. And it's like I said, it sits on the back of the um, uh, uh, of the box, right? I'm gonna put it right there on the back there. Okay. Uh, all right. So where do we start next? Uh, okay. Let's start with the soundtrack. So the soundtrack is just in here. I'm gonna tilt it forward. There it is. There's a soundtrack right there, right? Hope you can see it. Let's take that out. There we go. There we are. Okay. Uh, the soundtrack. Uh, the, the track list is on the back. There are 25 of them. I uh, hope you can see that. And Heaven Shall Tremble, Eternal Conflict, New Tristram, uh, Ariat, Leoric, etc. Okay. There's a front. It's got a nice feel to it. The Diablo, uh, the, the 3 in the Diablo 3 logo is, uh, is nice and shined up. There we are. And if we open it up, okay, uh, the cover, the first cover, oh, sorry, let me just move that over. The cover has a forward uh, from the creators, uh, what, composers, directors, and similarly with the, um, there's a forward there. And if we open it up, there's also another forward uh, right there on the right cover. And the Diablo 3 uh, soundtrack CD sits in the middle. Okay. All right, if we take that off, uh, that's the image on the back. It just shows you um, an image of Diablo and, uh, and Four Skulls. I'm guessing those Four Skulls are the some of the heroes that uh, we get to use hopefully not all right and there's a there is the disc there now there is a hidden leaflet inside the third flap in this one here and essentially it shows everyone that's involved with the music so let's take that out uh, there it is a picture of the butcher uh, okay and there it is that's everyone that's uh, involved with the music okay with uh, special thanks to all right and there's the back of it very nice very nice indeed okay so that is the soundtrack uh, for Diablo 3 all right let's put this back in here uh, again oh, there we are okay next up we have these cards all right here we are now uh, the back one let's I'll show that later so we have these guest passes here uh, now, there are three guest passes for Diablo 3, as you can see here, 
one, two, and three. You also get, uh, so essentially, um, you know, if you want to invite your uh, a friend to play, or if they're, let's say, they're interested in playing uh, and, you know, they, they want to try it out, you can give one of these cards, or code, keep the card, um, or code, and then they can enter this code and essentially they can play until the Skeleton King boss in Act 1. Alright, now obviously with a, um, a you know, a, a free guest pass, uh, a couple of game features are restricted. Um, you know, on the guest account. So if they want to experience the full game, then, you know, you, they have to buy the full version of the game. All right now, these are all detailed at the back of the card, right? There we are. Okay, how to use this Diablo uh, 3. And it tells you, also, the guest account allows you to play Diablo 3 for free up to the Skeleton King boss in Act 1. Now, certain game features are restricted. Uh, to remove these restrictions, please upgrade to the full version of the game. There we are. There is also a single guest pass for World of Warcraft. All right, there we are. Um, this allows you to play for free up to level 20. And similarly with the Diablo 3 guest card, several game features are disabled or restricted, so you have to buy the full game. And it, again, it, is, it does say uh, that on the back uh, right there. All right, but there it is, the guest passes um, for, uh, Dia uh, no, Diablo 3 and also for World of Warcraft, which I've never played because I refuse to play because I do not want to get sucked into that rabbit hole. All right. Anyway, I digress. Uh, now next up we have the DVD case, uh, for the game itself. There we are. All right. That's the back of it. Uh, if we open it up, uh, we get also, uh, there it is, there's the DVD, and we also get a quick start guide, instruction manual, whatever you want to call it. Okay, there it is. Um, you've got there PC installation right there, uh, with, and also uh, works on Mac as well, believe it or not. I mean, who, who games on the Mac these days? Uh, troubleshooting. Uh, you know, Battle.net account, uh, World of Sanctuary, uh, it's a good read, this, um, so if you get a chance to read it, uh, please do. Uh, maybe not on this one. Uh, actually, if you pause it right here, you can probably read it. There's a Barbarian. There's right there, maybe I should hold it a little bit. There we are. Sorry about the shine, I've got the window open. Um, there's the, um, uh, the map, the in-game map. Oop, let me just open that up for you, there we go, the in-game map. Right, uh, and then you've got the classes, the different classes. You've got barbarian here. Right. Uh, next up, you have there it is. Well, yeah, it's still barbarians. Uh, demon hunter, one of my favorite classes. And the demon hunter lore, obviously. Uh, the Monk, which is the first class that I played. Enjoyed this uh, this class, it's really good. Great, actually. There it is. Uh, Witch Doctor. This was one of the last classes that I played. All right, more Witch Doctor. And finally, the Wizard. All right. And uh, Auction House. Oh, wow, Auction House. That takes me back. I used to hate it, but then I used to love it because you can find things there that you couldn't find anything, uh, you know, anywhere else and you just pay for it. But uh, yeah, looking back at it now, probably not such a good idea. But there it is. There is the booklet or the quick start guide or instruction manual, whatever you want to call it, uh, for the game. Okay. Uh, behind that, we have this one here. This is the behind the scenes DVD. And Blu-ray disc, uh, so it's a, it's a two <coughs> disc uh, combo. So if we open this up. You have here the this is the Blu-ray one uh, behind the scenes and the DVD. So you can choose. I I'm pretty sure these uh, contain the same uh, the same thing, uh, but essentially it contains interviews, uh, behind the scenes footage. Um, uh, yeah, and on the back tells you exactly what's inside. So, so there it is. Hopefully, you can read that. There we go. Directory, dire sorry, director's commentary, world design interviews, uh, gameplay discussions, and character and creation roundtables. Character creation roundtables. Sorry. There we are. On the front here, the behind this leaflet here, this shows you everyone involved with the cinematics. 
right? So there we are. And those are the names, those are the people involved uh, with the cinematics. There we go. Uh, the back shows you behind the scenes. Again, people who are involved with the uh, behind the scenes. Uh, but yeah, that's the leaflet. Right, and there it is. Okay. Next up, uh, we have the art of Diablo 3. Now, this is one of the thickest art books I own. Uh, and it's great. Look at that. Right? Look at that. It's very nice. Nice and thick as well. Um, what is that? Three quarters of an inch, maybe? There we go. Okay. And uh, just going through it, um, hopefully I can, I can hold this properly. Uh, oh man, this is going to be tough holding this up. But uh, just, a, just a few pages here. I am sitting on an angle, just in case you're wondering. Uh, there's a map there. Uh, you've got all the different um, chapters. Chapter 1, Chapter 2. Chapter 1 are the heroes, the five heroes. Uh, chapter 2 are High Heavens. Uh, chapter 3, The Burning Hells. Chapter 4 is Act 1. Chapter 5 is Act 2, uh, Chapter 6 is Act 3, Chapter 7 Act 4, Chapter 8 Game Assets, and Chapter 9 Cinematics. Right, so those are the heroes there. Uh, the Barbarian. Right, some, some artwork there as well. I just put this down. Actually, I can... There we go, I can, I can lean it there. The Barbarian. There it is. Right. Some more. Oh, yeah. Oh, can you see? Yeah. Hopefully you can see that. I'll try my best to hold this up and not make a mess of this. Wizard. Some nice artwork there. Right, the wizard there. Again, sorry about the glare. I'll um have to close the window at some point. Maybe for my next video. Still more wizards. Witch doctor. I'll go over the um, uh, the characters and then I'll skip a few pages. So that this, this won't bore you. Witch doctor there. Gargantuan. Witch Doctor in action. Monk, again my favorite class. Huh, the monk is sort of Rasputin meets Wong Fei Hung. Nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess. I guess so. And Demon Hunter, if I missed any, no, I think this is the last class. Demon Hunter in action, some more artwork. Oh. <laughs> For the Demon Hunter, sexy was a word that we focused on. Great. Right there. And that is, um, yeah, and, and just these are just high heavens. Um, obviously, you have all these different artworks for Terriel and uh, and all the um, uh, you know different uh, NPCs uh, in game. Uh, there we are. I'm gonna skip a few of these um, just very quickly. All right, there's a butcher. Kind of hits different um, that you know for the butcher for me at least because he doesn't have his usual uh, fresh meat saying. Well, it's it's slightly different as far as I can remember. Act two. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna go through this uh, end game assets. There you are. There's those are the. Um, I believe those are the NPCs. Uh, no, actually these are different. Um, Armors that you can equip on your characters. These are the NPCs. Yep, uh, some enemies. All right, there we are. And cinematics. Those are the images from cinematics. 
Leah. Oh, Leah. <laughs> Kane. Uh, oh God, who's this? This is Asmodan. I can't remember. It's been a while since I played. There we are, and that is the art of Diablo three. Okay, and I have actually saved the best for last. The USB drive that contains both Diablo 2 and Diablo 2 Lord of Destruction presented in its own box. Look at that, that is beautiful that. Look at that. It's nice and shiny. The back of it. Awesome. Let's open it up. Woo. There it is. It's, uh, it's got a nice padding on the top there, which is a nice touch. Uh, but here we are. All right. So there's a, the USB drive uh, that's modeled after the Soul Stone, and there's also a skull. Uh, uh, sorry, a Diablo skull base to put the Soul Stone in. Uh, now, if you're wondering where the CD is, uh, CD key is located. It's printed on another card, and I'll quickly show you. It's uh, right up here. Okay, now, yeah, this is, uh, that's my fault, actually. Uh, I ac This used to sit in front of the guest pass, in front of this, but I accidentally closed the cover and this kind of, it, it hooked on, so, yeah, I pushed down and, and, and there it is. But, yeah, there's, there's the CD key and there's instruction for it um, right there, but, yeah, there we are, right? Now, let's take it out and I'll show you what it looks like. So... I'm going to put it on its uh, pedestal, there it is, it sits like that, and then the soul stone kind of sits, uh, is it, does it sit like this, or is it the other way around, I, I, I'm not sure, um, so, yeah, just like that, hopefully you can see this, there we are, Okay, so um, I'm not sure which way it's meant to sit. That doesn't look right. Maybe it is that way. I'm not sure. But imagine that, putting that on your desk. So, you know, just, just at the side there. Uh, let's get that out of the way so you can see it. There we go. Very nice indeed. Finally, the last physical game that I own in my Diablo collection. Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls Collector's Edition for PC. It has a similar look to Diablo 3 box, uh, size is the same, but here you see the art is different. It's got a, it's got a much a darker tone to it. Um, the logo again is embossed, so they kept the um, uh, you know the overall look to it. As you can see here, the side is also embossed. Uh, both sides actually, uh, they're embossed. Um, the back is all the same. Uh, it's, it's a little bit dark. Uh, yeah, collector's edition, and there it is. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a beautifully created, crafted box. I love it. Again, um, similar to the uh, Diablo 3 collector's edition, this has got to be my, the, my favorite one, right? One of the favorite uh, collector's editions, uh, along with Diablo 3. Uh, now, let's open it up. When you first open it up, uh, you get an embossed image of Malthel himself. There we are. Right, it's, uh, it's nicely done, as you can see there. Put it on an angle. Okay. So, um, right, where do I start? Okay, let's start with the card itself on the very back. So I'm going to put this to the side. Uh, and I'm going to pull the card on the very back. Okay, there it is. So, <clears throat> as with Diablo 3, uh, you know, when you first buy this, this box, I, this card sits at the very back. Now, it is shrink-wrapped. Um, so, you know, obviously this card will tell you what is inside this particular uh, uh, collector's edition? So you get the art, uh, the art book, um, you know, soundtrack, uh, uh, two disc, a DVD and Blu-ray um, set, uh, the game itself for PC and Mac, exclusive game content, and this time you get a mouse pad. <laughs> All right. So there we are. So I want to put this um, on the back here. Uh, there we are. Uh, okay. Moving on and starting again with the soundtrack. Here we are, Reaper of Souls sound Collector's Edition soundtrack. Okay, uh, the back shows you the list of tracks um, in the disc here. Uh, opening, if we open it up, 
There we go, we get a forward, um, our musical journey in Diablo 3, Reaper of Souls. If we open that up again, there's also a third uh, forward on the front there. Okay, now this is great, look at this. You see there? It's, uh, the CD has an image of Malthel, okay, um, with arms wide open, <laughs> all right? Now, if I, if I take the CD out, watch this. He's still there. That is great. That is great artwork. Uh, that is a great planning, actually. So, obviously, this comes first. You have the image of Mouth Allen because they said, oh, well, we don't want, you know, two floating arms on the side of the disc. What do we do? Right, well, we're going to print Mouth Allen on the disc itself. And this is what you get. Look at that. that that's, that's brilliant right there. <laughs> okay. Uh, also, there is a, um, another hidden uh, flyer here. Right, so this is the everyone that is involved with this, uh, you know, with the soundtrack, with, with the music uh, in game, right? Uh, violins, clarinets, bassoons, etc. And on the back just shows you an image of, um, uh, of one of the levels in, in Diablo 3. Okay, so there it is. Alright, let's close this up and moving on to the next item uh, that we get in here, and that is the game itself, the game DVD. Alright, so there's the back of it. If you open it up, obviously you get the DVD, uh, you get um, a quick start guide, and it's there's really nothing to it. Uh, it's basically, it's a leaflet. It just tells you what the story is so far. Uh, getting started, prerequisites, uh, you know, adding the game, etc. Uh, and all that. Alright, but there it is. Okay. Um, behind that are the behind the scenes DVD okay there it is all right and we open it up all right you get uh, both the blu-ray and the DVD so and I, I'm pretty sure they both contain the same thing uh, they both contain uh, what is it interviews um, discussions and behind the scenes commentary it doesn't really say this on the box does it no it doesn't and this card here this basically shows you uh, everyone that's involved with making of um, the behind the scenes DVD and Blu-ray. All right, and, and commentary. All right, and there it is. That's what we get. All right. Now, also contained in this uh, in this pack are guest passes, just like the ones you saw earlier in Diablo 3. So you got a few this time. Uh, right. So you get here uh, different ones. You get a guest pass for World of Warcraft. Uh, for Hearthstone, right? Uh, for Diablo 3, and also for StarCraft 2 Wings of Liberty. <laughs> Alright, so four games, uh, there we are, uh, and yeah, you, you, can get, you can try them for free. Okay. Alright, moving on, the next thing we item we get is the Reaper of Souls mouse pad. <laughs> Look at that. Now, I've never used this, right? I haven't used it because I don't I don't need to use it, uh, but it's a it's a very nice mouse pad. You can see here it's it's still brand new. It's brand new, All right? There's the back of it. Um, so yeah, there's there's the mouse pad. Um, nothing really to it. It's just Malthel and you know Diablo Three Reaper of Souls. Great. And behind that, and the last item uh, is the art book. Let's take this up. Oh, here's another um thick boy here. Look at that. Now this one here, um, the both the front, right? You can see it there. Um, hopefully you can see. It. Yeah, you can see it there the front cover and the back cover. They're both embossed. Oh, that that is a premium look, premium feel, premium look. Um, but yeah, let, let's let's take a look what's inside. So um, again, there we are. The Art of Diablo three. Uh, hopefully you can see that. I'll put it uh, against the box. Uh, there are four chapters, uh, A Falling Star, Descent to Darkness, uh, Piercing the Veil, and Memento Mori. Right, and there's a new class there, the Crusader. There we are. Okay, it's very nice artwork. Uh, those are the different um, armor items that you can get in-game, I believe. Um, yeah, there we are. 
very nice indeed. And then it's um, yeah, I'm gonna go through all the um, uh, the rest of it, chapter two and all that. It's just you know black and white there, Reaper of Souls, the different NPCs. Um, I can't remember which uh, which map this is. Um, but yeah, those are different uh, enemies, obviously, and I'm just going to go through this very, very quickly. Oh, it's a bit hard because, uh, the, yeah, it doesn't open very well because, you know, I've, all, I've only opened this book, what, a couple of times? So hence why it's, it's still a bit, you know, um, stiff. All right, there it is. Oh, Adria. Yeah, I remember her. More enemies. Uh, Malthella himself. Oh, those are different weapons, different um, armors, uh, more weapons, more armors. The Memento Mori is just a you know collection of what is that? Is that that's a 3D rendering, isn't it? Of um yeah, of some of the maps and some of the characters, some of the items. You know, that's very nice indeed. And there we are, the Reaper of Souls art book. Okay. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's, a, it's a short one this time. Um, that's pretty much it uh, for Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls. And that's it. There we have it, folks. Uh, my Diablo collection. Um, unfortunately, I do not own Diablo 4, nor have I played it. Uh, I didn't buy the collector's edition, the Diablo 4 collector's edition, because it did not come with the game, which is kind of a deal breaker for me. You know, as for, as for buying the game itself, I'm waiting for it to go on sale because again I don't want to spend you know a hundred dollars a hundred plus dollars on a digital game I would prefer to spend the amount of money um, on a game with a physical disc that comes in a box or a case uh, but you know that's that's just me uh, anyway I'll see you all in the next video thanks for watching and uh, yeah don't forget to like and subscribe see you later